So some of AMD's 6000 series CPUs have hit the market and they do provide a modest performance boost, but the one area that really changes everything is a boost on the graphics side due to the RDNA 2 graphics architecture. I'm not talking about their dedicated GPUs, but I'm talking about the integrated GPU that comes with the 6000 series processor, the APU. Now these new RDNA 2 integrated GPUs do offer up to 12 compute units for 768 cores, significantly more bandwidth and twice the L2 cache. What that means in nerd speak is that this is a lot faster than what we got on the Iris XE. And all of you guys remember when Intel's Iris XE came out, it was a nice upgrade in the integrated GPU department, but the Iris XE came out in late 2020 and it's still being used today in their 12th gen processors. Now, in order to make this test work, I wanted to choose gaming laptops. And the reason being is because they offer much better cooling than your standard Ultrabook. Like an Ultrabook, you don't know what you're getting. Sometimes you get one fan, sometimes you get two fans with very little copper to keep the APU cool. These guys ha have vapor chamber coolers, at least the Zephyrus does, and there's a lot more copper and, and even in some instances, uh, liquid metal to keep these things cool. So, Performance may vary depending on the Ultrabook you buy, but this will give you a glimpse of its full potential. Now, in order to do this, I did have to disable the RX 6800S dedicated GPU, and I also disabled the RTX 3080 Ti. Now, if all you care about is gaming, this new RDNA 2 offers a massive bump in performance. In fact, it's very comparable to a GTX 1050 Ti or a low-end 1650. That'll give you guys an, an idea of how good this integrated GPU is. And in a lot of the games I was playing, I was seeing a performance difference of anywhere from seven to like 20 frames, depending on the game that I was playing. If you want more of a real life example, I played a lot of Lost Ark. Like I'm, an, I'm obsessed with the game, by the way. If you haven't checked out Lost Ark, do it. It's a really fun, grindy Diablo meets World of Warcraft game. And look, I was getting about like 20 to 25 frames per second, like when things were really happening on the screen with the Iris XE. This guy, I saw performance go up to like 40 frames per second, doing the same sort of chaos dungeon with a lot of stuff going on. Uh, Overwatch, like older game, very well optimized. It runs great with the Iris XE, but I was seeing like, you know, significantly better performance using the RDNA 2. Now the one area that the new RDNA 2 does suffer is if you're doing any sort of encoding or decoding. So if you're doing video work, maybe a little bit of After Effects or any sort of that stuff that can utilize QuickSync from Intel, you will get better performance. It's not like significantly better, but it is noticeable. Also, you have to keep in mind things from the Adobe suite, like Premiere Pro, for example, really relies heavily on the CPU. So some of these results may be skewed towards the CPU and if you were to take the CPU out of the equation, it might be a bit more even, but anytime H.265 or H.264 is involved, technically Iris XE is a better performer than RDNA 2. And it's not that this doesn't have the capabilities of being a good candidate for decoding or encoding, it's just that there's no cooperation between AMD and Adobe. It's very poor, right? Like they could really optimize this to like do a much better job of being an encoder and decoder. Now, the one thing that really did surprise me was ray tracing. Like this could actually run games with ray tracing on. Not well, by all means, like keep it off because this is an integrated GPU, but it was doing better than like the 1650 or even an RTX 3050 from Nvidia, which is really surprising for an integrated GPU. Now this is obviously not gonna crush a dedicated GPU from Nvidia or even the more beefier RX GPUs that AMD offers. But if you are buying an Ultrabook this year and you wanna game a little bit on the side, this can do it. You know, you're gonna be running it at 1080p, which is nice. You're not gonna be playing at ultra high settings all the time. You might have to drop it down to medium. All these games that I ran here were done at high, but if you drop it down to medium or even a bit lower, you're gonna get good results. And that's really impressive for an integrated GPU. All right, I hope that gives you a little glimpse of what these integrated GPUs can do. Just note, depending on the Ultrabook and how it's cooled, you might see a variation in terms of performance, but because these are gaming laptops, this is more of a look at these integrated GPUs performing at their best. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. If you wanna check out these laptop reviews, there'll be links to that too. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.